so much happening today. So today is my mom's birthday. Um, so I was, I'm really happy and I sent her a message to say thank you for being born because without you being born, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I wasn't really planning on doing a live today, um, but there's a lot that's going on and I've done a fair deal of writing today and I thought it would be nice for some of you to see um, some of the writing um, and I, I'll, I'll spend some time actually uh, writing as well. Um, thank you, Superior. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I was just talking to her and I said, I need to go, I'll call you back in 45 minutes. And she was like, why? And I said, because it's five here and it's noon there. Hi, Roxana, I, I, I need to do a live. So, um, right. So there are a few things that I, I need to talk with you about. The first thing is, <clears throat> I'm going to show you some stuff that I've been working on. Um, I'm not going to be able to look at the screen once I start writing because it's really sort of technical writing. So if uh, if anybody is on, for those of you who are on long, or if you're staying for the whole live, um, it would be great if some of you could actually stay for the whole live. And if anybody asks a question, just tell them that I'm not looking at the screen because I, I, I'm going to concentrate on this writing. Um, and I really need to focus on it, otherwise I'll, I'll mess it up. And of course, it's in Latin as well, so that's another issue. Um, so let me let me move the phone, and um, and I'll show you what I've been working on today. Okay, so um, working on a piece of um, quadrata to show its geometrical proportions. So we can see uh, the quadrata is generally written at four to six nib widths. I tend to prefer to write it at four because it's, it's nice and squat. The majuscules are six, but I'm showing how the Q fits into a square and how the letters themselves and the minuscules also fit into the width of the tool at the 45 degree angle. So that's 45. The space between here is the same as that. So you, you really get to see how the geometry works for the quadrata. So I'm, I'm working on a course um, with uh, Art of Islamic Pattern, Adam Williamson. So if you don't follow Adam, you know, go and have a look at his work. He is absolutely amazing. Um, hey, Ben. <clears throat> Um, so this is one thing that I'm working on. So we're, we're working on a class that, 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 that looks at geometry. And I really want to show how the geometry of textualis quadrata works. So that's one thing. The next thing is... <clears throat> um, hi, else, Giovanni. How are you? Um, so I, I did this as well. Uh, maybe I'll move this for now. So this is a block of text uh, about the um, some Greek myths about how how the earth was born and how man was born and how man came into being. So this is just the separation um, of the earth. I, I did a a a, a another piece. <clears throat> I did this as a piece years ago. Um, and then Maureen at uh, Calligraphy Crush magazine asked me to, to, to write an article on ligatures. So I've just, I've done that. And she also wanted a piece to show some of the ligatures. So some of the ligatures are here. Oh, wow, you had a session with Rachel. Rachel's great. So there's some traditional uh, English round hand letter forms. Obviously there's the Y and the R uh, and the W. And we see the C is very typical of English round hand. Uh, and lots of lig ligatures, beautiful ST ligature, RT ligature, very typical English round hand. Again, another ST ligature, an E. 
sh ligature. Uh, forgot to cross that T. And there's an OR conjunction right here, which is really fascinating, where they're sharing the same one, one stem. <clears throat> here there's some overlapping. There's a G, there's a double D and a double S. So it's always interesting to use different letter forms if you're doing um, double letters or vary the height. So even if you're using a squared off top, you might want to use a squared off top here, but make it higher. Um, what else is there? An ampersand and another ampersand. Obviously, that, that's a, a, a ligature form of E and T. SH ligature. Um, <clears throat> very typical N of the... Um, English round hand, typical English round hand W, RK ligature, which is not common, double E ligature, which is differencing. And uh, yeah, that's so so this was this was the bigger piece. Hey Milan. Sean! Oh my gosh! <laughs> so that guy, you see that handsome man that's just come on there, Sean S Morong. Sean and I went to school together for like forever. So we've known each other since we were like five. Oh my gosh, Sean. Oh, so good to see you. And Sean loves food. So, you know, we, we have tons of stuff in common with each other. And he has, he has an absolutely stunning wife who is so lovely and some great kids. Um, right. So this, this is a piece that I did. Oh, goodness. When did I do this? I think I must have done this about um, 15 years ago. <clears throat> It's always interesting looking at your work when it's, it's so old. Um, so I opted to do this with a very sort of traditional slant. So I'm using, of course, you know, I've, I've been working on these slanted capitals. So the caps here are not as good as the ones that I can do now because I've done so much more work on them. If you're interested in the slanted caps, I would suggest you start off with the PScribe slanted, uh, with the PScribe pencil caps, which are on Shopify. And um, there's a ton of content there, and we're we're getting ready to upload part two of that, which will take you over to the pen. Hi, Sarah. Um, really delicate, really open. Um, so this is very typical of uh, English round hand, using double size to indicate. Um, some kind of 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 uh, of of, of um, differencing, but also to point you to. So I'm I'm using it here at the beginning of each sentence, or for proper nouns. I loved doing this piece. I really really enjoyed doing this piece. Look at this double G ligature, so sexy. Um, right. So that that was the original piece. Fifty. <laughs> oh, thanks, Liza. <laughs> So that's, that's this piece that I've just done for Maureen so that she can sort of see that. I, because I didn't really use ligatures in the, in the older piece. Um, I really should be doing some of this work for sale, you know, but I just, if you're interested in having something written out, let me know. Um, and I'll, I'll write it out and cost it up. So, um, <clears throat> so that's that. Um, and then the next thing I'm working on is I'm giving a talk at um, the Princess School of Traditional Arts on uh, text on the history of the alphabet. So um, I know that uh, what's his name uh, uh, Brody Neuentrander has done this great series on BBC um, about the history of the alphabet, and it's a great series. My talk is centered around the calligraphic tradition. So it looks at paleography and the development of the alphabets paleographically. Um, so it, it, it basically goes through our entire calligraphic history of Western script. Um, and so coupled with that, I decided to write out some text in quadrata. Um, so the this has shifted a little bit. And I thought maybe what would be useful is for you to see me writing the quadrata. So as I said earlier on, 
Um, I won't be looking at the at the camera because I really need to concentrate on this writing. Um, I'm just using a Sakura calligrapher two, uh, 20 marker because I didn't really want to deal with the ink. And I love this marker. I, I love these markers because I, and I love the brown. I think the brown's really beautiful. So, um, so like I said, if, if any of you are on for, um, for a long time, so I'll probably just write for 10 minutes, uh, but I won't talk. So if anybody asks any questions, it would be great if uh, those, those of you who have been on for a while just say, you know, I'm not looking at the phone because, um, you know, people can get a little bit demanding. So, right, where are we at? Feed it. So I've just done this little shape, which is an interpunct. And these interpuncts, um, I'm using them as uh, verse separators. <coughs>
Oh, Tomo! This is Textualis Quadrato. So, um, so of course, you know, so all of this, how long was that? Just about 10 minutes, I guess, maybe less. Um, all of this takes so long. And uh, when I teach this script, I'm, I'm very conscious of the, the sound. So I know you can't really hear the sound and it's going So I, I always, I, I, I can hear the music in my head. <clears throat> I can hear Requiem Eternum And so that, that, that really helps to, to sort of keep the rhythm because you know I, I can I can hear the music in my head um, the, the rhythm of the writing um, so I hope that's given you a little bit of <laughs> so Telmo's daughter Leonor is so beautiful and whenever I sing she just sort of stands there so you know Telmo and I talk nearly every day and we, we FaceTime so if she's crying, I start singing and she just stops and she smiles and she's, she's really great. Um, so she's also a little nuclear reactor. So she's full of energy. Um, right. So, so there's that. Right. What else do I want to talk to you about? Now, <clears throat> um, please go over to London Graphic Centre. Um, so I've teamed up with them to do Inktober. And uh, this week, I'm doing some demonstrations on different uh, media with different tools, using different tools and materials. Of course, there's the Latin. Yay. In case you really wanted to see the Latin. Um, so these, th th these were the sort of exemplars for the Latin. Uh, sorry for the for Inktober, and I was using tools. That, you know, I, I, I you know I, I can use, but the the aim was to use the tools like writing, you know, for writing. You know, not not to use the tools like how lots of people use them. Um, they might write a bit and draw a bit. So it it was really you know how do we. How do we use tools for writing versus drawings? This is a drawn letter. This isn't written. Um, so, some so this kind of uh, faux calligraphy um, is really uh, more like drawing. And understanding the difference between these two things is really important. Now, the other thing that I've done is I've just gone ahead and done the work straight onto the page. Because most people using these tools just go straight onto the page and do the writing. Um, my preference would actually be to rule up the sheet. Because if I ruled this up with the lines, you'd get the right line height. Um, and you, you'd have something that's much more accurate. Um, so when I move to, the, to tomorrow's um, posts, which I can very quickly show you. So these are done with smaller tools. Uh, so that's a, uh, that's a, uh, let's, let's. Oh, so the book is, um, is the Sea White of Brighton book, which is, they're a, a manufacturer, paper manufacturer in, in England. And I love their books. Their books are really great. So this is tomorrow's post. And that is, um, uh, what is it? So this is Pentel Touch. So just looking at how the Pentel Touch works. And of course, I used lines behind this. So it's much more accurate. Of course, it's a smaller tool as well. And then that's the, um, that is, these are the Tombow Fudanosuke pens. Um, so you can see, you can see quite a lot of difference in the writing from today's posts and for what you will see tomorrow. So of course, you, you get the videos for, for all of these as well as the stills. So I'll post the stills and then you can go and watch the videos on 
on London Graphic Center. It'd be great if you want to join in. Um, just swap this. Swap this around. Yay. Hi. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, it'd be great if you want to join in on the London Graphic Center PA Scribe Inktober. Oh, yeah, I'm really busy today. Tons of writing. I showed my, my, my mother's my, just arrived at my sister's. Um, and she and I were talking and I said, oh, let me show you something. So I showed her the textualist and she was like, oh my gosh, C can you send that to me? <laughs> so, uh, which is really quite funny. It's, it's, it's always nice. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it and what I wrote earlier is considerably better than what I wrote when I was writing uh, with the camera in my face, because of course, I had the desk tilted earlier on uh, to do the script because textualis is better done on a tilted board. Um, and of course I was writing uphill and trying to, not to hit the camera. So, you know, the, the setting is really important. You know, how you set your desk up to work, um, how you get into the writing of the work. It's, it's really important. Um, and so next week, um, I'm going to take one of the days next week and I'm going to look at um, at all of the posts that I'm, I'm going to do for, for the Inktober week with uh, London Graphic Center and sort of talk you through different ways to approach it um, so that you, you get a better sense of how I, I would approach these things. Um, we're moving from big tools. So, we, uh, so I used uh, the Tombow uh, ABT brushes um, and the Ecoline brush pens down to the Tombow Fudonosuke and the Pentel Touch. And Wednesday, I'm going to look at broad markers uh, on my my gray pad, the Sakura Metallics and the Edding markers. And then Thursday, I'm going to use uh, London Graphic Center layout paper and do some copper plate script with uh, some nibs and with a sable brush using uh, the ink tents inks um, from uh, Derwent and the Tom Norton's uh, walnut ink, which is really lovely to write with. And then Friday, I'm going to go down to handwriting. So it's, it's sort of moving from big to small to more accurate. Um, so it's, 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 you know, it's just trying to get you to, to see different ways of approaching this. Um, so I will do that sort of system next week um, where I talk about all of the stuff. The videos will always be posted on London Graphic Center and I will just post the images um, because I'll do a, I'll, 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 you know, I have lives to do and you know, I, I don't really want to sort of have that as a IGTV post as well as the image and do a live because then of course I just use my whole day up. Anyway. I'm waffling on. Sorry about that. Um, so thanks very much for joining me. And um, I am probably not going to do a live tomorrow because I actually have to get some work done. Um, and setting up for the live really does take some time. And um, I need to finish this page of textualis. Um, I might need to rewrite it because I just messed it up with that sloppy writing in the middle there. <laughs> um, and, um, and, and have a good week, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.